This segment of Dolmarva Life is brought to you by DryTech Environmental. Okay, so just in case you missed this little gem during our Halloween show yesterday, here's a quick recap of how 1025 WBOC's Corey Phoebus and even Sydney found themselves soaked while bobbing for apples and onions and rubber ducks and tomatoes. And while Corey had no problem dunking his head into the water, one place that he recently learned he does not want to find water is under the house. He spent some time with our friends at DryTech Environmental and they put him to work with a lesson on how to make your crawl space a little less creepy crawly. When you think about your crawl space, what adjectives come to mind? Dark, damp, dirty? Or maybe you've never seen your crawl space and you wish you could hand that responsibility of maintaining it to someone else. Austin Ireland of DryTech Environmental would love to take on that task. But what is DryTech and how can they help? What DryTech does is we specialize and we're also the experts in waterproofing, encapsulating crawl spaces on the entire Delmarva Peninsula. Encapsulating may seem like a pretty confusing process, but Austin puts it into terms we can all understand. So an encapsulation is basically vapor barrier, foam insulation on the foundation walls, a French drain system with sump pump if needed, and dehumidification of the space. Austin says that there are plenty of circumstances in which someone living on Delmarva would need an encapsulated crawl space. They could have moisture issues, they could have ground intrusion, uh, groundwater intrusion. They can have pretty much everybody has high humidity. That's a very common problem. And um, another thing would be preventative measures. You know, your crawl space may be pristine, but it's just a matter of time before it's going to end up. There could be an issue down there. This is for new houses, old houses. Uh, condos, pretty much anything that has a crawl space, it definitely cannot be neglected. But what if you're in the minority and you stay on top of your crawl space, or maybe you see at first glance that under your house is cleaner than your house itself? Austin says we're all still at risk. This customer here stays on top of his crawl space. He's down there, he's checking it out regularly, but it's, it's when you kind of look down there and you don't want to go down there, and those moisture, those moisture issues over time, they just they just build and they build and they build until it reaches a point where it's got to be addressed. My wife and I moved into this new construction seven years ago. Uh, we have a crawl space and we use it for storage. Uh, and I was taking down boxes uh, a week ago, noticed a glistening in the uh, corner. I got, uh, got closer and I could see it was water. Water had leaked in. Uh, I gave Austin a call. He came out promptly and um, he explained to me the process of rectifying it and um, relieved my worries about the whole problem. So this is what you do with with every job? Yes, yes. So I'll, typically I'll get suited up in a Tyvek suit, okay. rubber gloves, possibly a respirator, um, flashlight, moisture meter, camera, basically my kit, my tools, and I'll come down here and uh, assess the situation, get a little intel from the customer, kind of feel them out, see what they're thinking, and uh, come down here and do my thing. As we mentioned, a lot of homeowners don't come down here, kind of a neglected area, and I, I definitely don't expect them to take my word for it. So I like to come down here, get footage, get photos, and that way I can show them exactly what's going on down here and they can see it and they're like, oh wow, okay. Now in this case, the homeowner found the issue on their own, but this is an impeccable crawl space. Yes, yes it is. So this homeowner clearly does his due diligence. He uses it for storage and he comes down here regularly and he checks on it, makes sure that it's staying dry. I mean, obviously he's got a nice state-of-the-art sump pump, French drain system, dehumidification. I mean, this is a really nice space. However, there is still a problem. So I guess no matter what you have your crawl space outfitted with, problems can still happen. Yes, absolutely. I mean, just like anything, like oil changes on a car, you've got to maintain the system. So what he had is a little bit of settling, and, and building materials tend to delaminate over time. They break down, nothing lasts forever. So he's got some settling, and it, it basically a crack presented in the foundation wall. So we're gonna do what we do best, and we're gonna make that little problem disappear for him, and he can march forward, good to go. So the next time you're sitting in the comfort of your home, remember, the areas under your house need as much tender love and care as the areas inside your house. It's easy as that. Now, I'm not saying that Corey could have stood up and walked around down there, but anyway, uh, if you didn't pick up on in just that piece, Austin really is one of the friendliest, most helpful guys in the business. If you have a question, he will get you an answer.